winter, we find an abundance of riches along Massachusetts' North Shore. We're in the middle of the Great Marsh, which is the largest salt marsh in New England. 25,000 acres stretching from Gloucester all the way up to New Hampshire. In Ipswich, the Trustees Crane Estate is famous for its grand mansion. Nearby, quiet paths lead to the water. This is where the, you know, the open ocean kind of starts, right past these islands. The Trustees runs a series of outdoor nature programs here at Castle Hill. Welcome to Steep Hill Beach. This is, is a part of Crane Beach. If we Valerie Perini is in charge of today's Coastal Crafts Program. Non-member adults pay $35 and kids pay $15 to learn about area wildlife while beach combing. Later, they turn their finds into keepsakes. My background's in marine biology and so we get to explore like what are those shells? You know, what role do they play in the ecosystem? And then bring those back to our craft workshop. We like this program because it's both outside and inside. Perini says the northwest side of Castle Hill is secluded compared to the rest of Crane Beach. It's a little more sheltered, so maybe different cool shells wash up. Does it have purple on the inside? No, so since it has brown on it, it's called a mahogany clam. Time outdoors can be therapeutic, says the Crane Estates outdoor manager, Matthew McKenzie. He spent 15 years as a police patrol officer before joining the trustees. Did a lot of um, drug interdiction on the highways. One of the things that helped me in that career is de-stressing in nature, using that as a, a way to separate from the job. What is that called when animals or eggs blend in with their surroundings? Camouflage. Camouflage, nice. We try to teach everyone a little bit about the different wildlife we can find here and just try to really get people outside, even in the winter, you know. As well as craft a little celebration of the day. The expansive views, especially here in the winter when all the leaves are off the trees, you know, you get these amazing views. Really grateful to be able to invite people to explore these special places with us. A few miles away from Ipswich is Essex, once a hub for antiques. It'll be perfect for my flower arranging class. This building, dating back to 1730, is home to Howard's Flying Dragon Antiques. Shopkeeper Kathy Galley says customers always find a deal here. This is a mirror that I just picked up in a state that I went to in Beverly. And at $70, it's probably less than, than what you would pay for a new boring one. Antiques can be a great way to find fun, interesting, different things to decorate your home. Buyers are often drawn to decorative items and jewelry, says Galley. We get a lot of great vintage jewelry in that's a lot of fun, have something different that nobody else has for $10 to $15. We sell things that are a dollar. Most of our sales are probably between $20 and $50. People will walk in and they'll say, oh, there's so much stuff I don't even know how to start. Just relax and take your time. We're no pressure. Every time you come in, you're going to see different things including the shop boss. Beatrice is our shop cat. She's a Maine Coon cat. She is 12 years old and uh, she's very friendly. We have people that come every year from Ohio and South Carolina and all over New England and whatnot just to see Beatrice. Actually, the real bosses here have always been Galley's parents. Edwin and Laura Howard bought the business in 1973. Galley's mom passed away, but dad is in the shop every day. Our purpose is to create niceness, happy thoughts. And my son, who's part of the business also, thinks we should take the word antique off of our sign because we're not selling antiques anymore, we're selling memorabilia. <laughs> Kathy Galley says most of the antiques at Howard's are sourced from here in New England. Lately, decorators have been gravitating toward old typewriters and rotary phones as conversation pieces, she says. And Howard sells a lot of old Life magazines, a favorite of collectors. Up next, a picture is worth a thousand words.